She's America's reigning sweetheart. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Emma Stone moments. We could, we could tie our shoes together, our tennis shoes, and we could throw them over telephone wires. Because I see that everywhere, and it, it seems like people would have fun doing that. Like, how hard can you throw? Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at her most hilarious interviews, profiles, guest appearances, and movie moments. Number 10, Dancing with Ellen. The starlet showed off her moves during her 2017 Ellen appearance when she played the game Last Dance. Ellen compares the game to hot potato, but with dancing, meaning you have to begin doing the dance that pops up on screen. We're treated to Emma's renditions of the stanky leg, Beyonce's single ladies dance, and the running man. Is it just this? Is it this? No, that's not it. It's only a shame we couldn't see Emma try to create a dance named the Spinkler after that awkward typo. It's like, oh, the Spinkler! <laughs> it's, it's not... It says... It says the Spinkler! Hey, as another plus, Ellen isn't too bad of a dancer herself. Is it too far-fetched to hope for a big-screen dance partnership for these two one day? Number 9, Pogo Sticking for Vanity Fair. Hi, I'm Emma Stone, and I'm going to teach you how to pogo stick. Vanity Fair's recurring secret talent theater web series lets celebs show off some of their lesser known abilities. After Emma appears clad in a loose fitting suit, she teaches us all a thing or two about pogo sticking. And now you have to understand that this is my first day doing this since I was 11 years old, and I can only go in a circle. I'm not sure how to not go in a circle, so... Emma bounces in circles around the room, quickly finding out that pogo sticks are a lot more exercise for adults than they are for kids. It's moments like this that show us how down-to-earth and relaxed she can be. When I was 11, I could do it much better than I can right now. I just think I need a little more practice. It's hard to imagine many other celebrities hopping on a pogo stick, for the first time in 20 years, on camera. We aren't laughing at you, we're laughing with you, Emma. We promise. Number 8, Singing Pocket Full of Sunshine. Ugh! Worst song ever. You know those songs that you really can't stand, but get stuck in your head and you find yourself singing? We've all been there. Easy A, the loose film adaptation of the classic novel The Scarlet Letter, features this relatable and hilarious moment that shows Emma, as lead character Olive, opening a greeting card that plays Pocketful of Sunshine by Natasha Bedingfield on repeat. Despite it being the worst song ever, she spends her entire weekend listening to it, eventually singing along at full volume, before the greeting card's battery life comes to an end. Rest in peace. Number 7, Bantering with Ryan Gosling. In 2016, Emma Stone starred in the acclaimed musical La La Land alongside Ryan Gosling. As the movie wound its way through promotion and the awards season, we were treated to months of the charming duo doing press together. You really go hard on that. A boot. A boot. That's not You're like that. You're just being silly now. A boot. About a boot. <laughs> just called our whole culture silly. The two have great chemistry that makes them endlessly fun to watch. Their interviews feature so much playful banter and witty back and forth, and we're dying to see them in more roles together, even if it's just to see their promotional gigs. Why did you learn how to dance separately? What was that about? Oh, well... Just the maturity level, really, it was I think you got. <laughs> <laughs> From the red carpet to press junkets and talk shows, these two always seem to have a good time together, and it's infectious. So for about two months, I just thought he was the most, you know, incredible dancer of all time, and I was failing miserably. And then they put us together, and I was like, oh, I got this. <laughs> Number six, being interviewed with Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, you want me to hold up my little elephant? <laughs> <laughs> it's me! Early in 2018, W Magazine released a Screen Tests video interview featuring Stone alongside Jennifer Lawrence. The two are close friends, and it's clear from their speaking together that they have great chemistry. Well, I worked at a dog bakery when I was 15, but you already know. They baked dogs? 
That's yet. awful. But we'll talk about it later. <laughs> the two actors bounce back and forth across topics, speaking off the cuff in a way that's very refreshing to hear from two of America's biggest movie stars. Oh yeah, the super bad premiere. I, I wore a, a like a blue kind of dress. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, tell me more. The interview also shows off just how funny both women are, without having a script in front of them. They're hilarious, making us feel like they could fit right into any of our own groups of friends. If only. Anyway, that was the first thing we had in common. God, this is so... We've all been there, right? Number five, hosting Saturday Night Live. If you've never been here in December, they have this, this huge tree outside, and they surround it with literally hundreds of thousands of slow tourists. It's just... <laughs> Emma has hosted SNL three times, in 2010, 2011, and 2016. She took part in a number of very funny sketches, and all three of her monologues are well worth watching. See you, Vanessa. <laughs> Tell casting directors about me. Okay, I'm... Gonna say something for sure. Not all movie stars are able to adapt to SNL's live atmosphere, but it's clear Emma was able to fit right in, avoiding the awkwardness that many hosts display. SNL can be hit or miss, but thankfully most of Emma's material was spot on. Of course. Now go wash up for dinner. What are we having? Basketball. Stone even stepped in to fill the shoes of comedy legend Gilda Radner when she took on the role of Roseanne Rosanadana in the SNL 40th anniversary special. Mr. Fader, you sound like a real attractive guy. That one must have been an honor. Number four, answering fan questions. This is from Courtney C on Twitter, so I'm pretty sure we all know this is Courtney Cox. While promoting her role as Gwen Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Stone appeared on Movie Phone's unscripted web series along with Jamie Foxx and Andrew Garfield to ask each other questions taken from fans on Twitter. Does your personal connection help you in your professional connection? Jamie. It sure does, Jamie. It sure does. The result is quite entertaining, as the three go through the series of off-the-wall questions without any preparation, attempting to answer them as best they can. I think it would be nice if Gwen was bitten by the love bug. <laughs> it's hard to deny Emma steals the show a little bit with her natural charm and charisma. She even reduces Garfield to joyful tears at one point due to her ridiculous antics. Okay. Okay, here's the question. Have you ever killed anybody? <laughs> be honest. Even on accident. Tell the truth right now. Number three, admiring Ryan's abs. Girl, we don't blame you. Take off your shirt. Why? Please, will you take off your shirt? Because really? I can't stop thinking. In 2011's Crazy Stupid Love, Emma plays Hannah Weaver, law student and prospective love interest to Ryan Gosling's Jacob. In one scene in which Hannah goes back to Jacob's home, she gets a look at his shirtless form for the first time, and her reaction is priceless. Seriously? It's like you're photoshopped. Honestly, it's how most people might react in that situation. It's one of Emma's funniest movies and gave us the first hint of the chemistry between her and Gosling. You have cold hands. It's a great romantic comedy in its own right, and without it, we may never have gotten La La Land. Number two, not meeting a Spice Girl. What is the hold that the Spice Girls have over you? Is this real? Like many who came of age in the 90s, Stone has an affinity for the British pop group The Spice Girls. While promoting Amazing Spider-Man 2, Stone appeared on The Graham Norton Show alongside her co-stars. Yeah. I was... I was a fiend. I was obsessed with the Spice Girls. And they taught me about girl power. Mm. And I <laughs> love them. Notorious prankster Norton prepares Emma with a series of questions about the girls before insinuating he's about to bring not one, but multiple Spice Girls. What well, you're telling me you've never met are you a Spice do, Girl? Are you going to do something right Have now? you never met a Spice Girl? Are you going to do something really? Have you never met a Spice Girl? The look of anticipation and excitement on the star's face is pure joy. After a lengthy drum roll, he reveals it's a prank and Emma immediately deflates. So, they're not here. Uh, it's genuinely funny and adorable. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours. Well, Jules, the funny thing about my back is, is that it's located on my cock. What's your I'm scared face? <gasps> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And she asked you for a verse, man, on her song, Turn Up the Beast. Turn up the beast. Throw your body on the flame. Number one, lip sync battle with Jimmy Fallon. Ludacris going in on the verse because I never been defeated and I won't stop now. Keep your hands up, get them in the sky for the homies that ain't making it and my folks locked down. 
Jimmy Fallon's celebrity lip sync battles on The Tonight Show are legendary. Well, some more than others. Emma's appearance is definitely in the legendary category. She takes on Jimmy by lip syncing the songs Hook by Blues Traveler and All I Do Is Win by DJ Khaled against Fallon's versions of Iggy Azalea's Fancy and Mr. Roboto by Styx. Though her Blues Traveler performance is solid, it's her Khaled rendition, including an entire ludicrous verse, that really wins us over. It's an all-time great lip-sync performance that must be seen if you're an Emma Stone fan. And aren't we all? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.